where girls rock science. Science is important and it's fun to do and someday girls might want to be scientists and, and if they don't know science, they can't be scientists. You're going to divide this entire ball of Play-Doh into 10 equal parts. In the beginning of the year, we just do an experiment like, what is a scientist? And we'll just ask them. And some of the answers that we get are mind-boggling. A scientist is a really old white guy with no hair, balding, you know, but hair on the sides, who wears a lab coat and, and works with strange chemicals. That's what they think it is. And they're serious, like it's not, it's not funny. And so we said we have a lot of work to do. So three teachers decided to volunteer their time to run an after-school science program that would be for the third and fourth grade girls in their school. They wanted to make sure the girls believed in themselves and that everyone knew. Girls rock science. 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 But how many planets do we still have left? Five. We still have five planets for this one little piece. We want them to know that anybody can be a scientist. Doesn't matter, you know, what background you come from. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter, obviously, your gender. Anybody who wants to do it can do it. That's amazing. Why is it amazing? It's so small compared to what? To compare it to Jupiter, it's like the smallest. The idea for the Girls Rock Science Club actually came from a summer workshop that we go to that we participate in through Merck. It's basically to help schools become more proficient in science instruction. And we wanted to bring science more into the school culture and to make it more students more aware of what we're doing. We've noticed in the past that in the regular general ed classroom that a lot of times the boys were overpowering the girls when we were doing group work. So we wanted an area, a time where the girls can work together. They are in charge of their learning. They're in charge of doing all of the thinking as a team. And they don't have to sit back all the time and just watch the boys. What I love about science is that we get to do like experiments and, and things that nobody except all these girls that are in Girls Rock Science do. The girls and their teachers meet every other Thursday after school to work through an interactive kit-based science activity. Today we're going to be looking at a solar system experiment and it's an activity where they get to use Play-Doh, so it's something that they're familiar with, and they're looking at the relative size of the planets. So this way they can see how big one planet is compared to another planet. So they get that visual which a lot of kids and a lot of adults need. They consider it fun because they're using Play-Doh, they're using materials that make it fun for them but what they're really doing is, is learning. And, the, and they know that because we always take time to come back together and discuss what did we learn from this. The ladies who run this club, this is the reason I get up in the morning and like to come to work. They are taking what we do during the school day and just blowing it beyond what I could have imagined. They're taking all the skills from the classroom and giving these girls a chance to have an enrichment experience. Math and English get a huge portion of the school day. We have to kind of fight to make sure that they get to learn science every day. And we're, we're lucky compared to a lot of districts that they have science every day for 40 minutes, but having that extra hour long session just gives the kids a better experience. I have definitely seen the girls working in the classroom during the regular school day be able to do so much more because they have that confidence going in now that they say, you know what, I don't have to sit back anymore. I am very smart. I do have great ideas. I can work with a group and I can get all of these ideas that we have together to solve this problem. In just its second year, enthusiasm and participation in Girls Rock Science has exceeded the teachers' expectations. Our goal in the beginning was to start very small. We wanted just about 20 or so girls. The first year, which was last year, we had over 70 that signed up, and this year we had over 100 girls that wanted to participate, and that excites us as teachers, that they want to come spend an hour with us after school, they know that they have to come and work, and they're going to be thinking for an extra hour, but they come and they work all the time really, really hard, so we're very proud of them. It makes us feel great, you know what I mean? It really makes us happy that we can give something back to the girls and make them feel empowered and make them feel like they can do anything. 
we are making a real difference. You know, you teach every day and you see your results, but when you see girls who've never participated in a science lesson or you see girls who were in a shell and then now you see them walking down the hall and they, they have that confidence and, you know, they speak up now and they're articulate, like, it's, it's the most rewarding experience. It, it's probably the highlight of my teaching career, just to see them interact and to see them grow. The growth is amazing.